We got our first indication today that Fort Worth-based American Airlines may be interested in merger talks. It's a move being pushed by the unions representing most of the airline's employees. CBS 11's Jack Fink is live at DFW Airport tonight with more on this latest development in the bankruptcy saga. Jack? Well, Karen, until now, Americans said it would only consider a merger after it leaves bankruptcy. But late today, American moved up its timetable. The winds are shifting at American Airlines. For the first time, the airline says it has agreed to work with its unsecured creditors committee to consider a potential merger while it's still in bankruptcy. But in a statement, American insists this agreement does not in any way suggest that a transaction of any kind or with any particular party will be pursued. Still, Dallas attorney Randy Ray says this is significant. So it does signify something. But it may be American showing they want to get a little more control of the process. U.S. Airways wants to take over American. U.S. Air has won the backing of American's three main unions after agreeing that if there's a takeover American, there would be fewer layoffs and higher wages and benefits. Earlier today, hundreds of Americans' unionized employees marched to the carrier's Fort Worth headquarters. They delivered 20,000 petitions stating they had no confidence in Americans' business plan or its leadership. It's time to get rid of the dead weight. I'm talking about Tom Horton and his crew at the top of this company. Meantime, Americans shut off a Boeing 787 Dreamliner today that it will add to its fleet in late 2014. In a ceremony welcoming the plane before hundreds of employees at DFW Airport, CEO Tom Horton made no mention of the airline's new stance on a potential merger. Our competitors are taking notice, too. No one in the industry wants to compete with the new American. Now, Bloomberg News is quoting sources as saying the process of studying a potential merger would begin as early as this summer. Now, on Monday, the shift is going to focus back to bankruptcy court in New York. That's where the unions are going to make their case for a merger with U.S. Air. We're live at DFW International Airport tonight. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Jack. And CBS 11's Jason Allen will be in New York when those unions head to court. His live reports from New York will start Sunday on CBS 11 News at 10.